Hello and welcome back to my channel. This slideshow is for What's Cooking, a 500 piece square jigsaw puzzle from Ebu. Now I have about a dozen of their 500 piece puzzles and they are all round. This is the first 500 piece square puzzle that I have. Now, why did I do this puzzle when it was not initially on my October goals, which that video will be coming up soon? Well, it's because when I went to the eBoo site to just double check on their kitchen series, which I do show at the end of this video, I discovered that this puzzle, What's Cooking, is part of the series. So quite naturally, I had to order it, and I did it. Or should I say I started it the same day that I got it and it was a breeze to put together. Yes, I have some cats that helped me out along the way, but boy, did I love it. And it, like I said, at the end of this video, you'll see the other puzzles. So if you're anything like me, you love series, whether it's puzzles or books, I love series. So when I found this one, I just had to do it. So you have kitchen chickens, lavender kitchens, green kitchen, blue kitchen, and this one here, what's cooking. So before we wrap this video up, I just want to talk to you a little bit about this puzzle. Now I'm currently working on a unified pieces puzzle called Steve Land. And all of the red was giving me a little bit of a headache. So I decided to segue over to this puzzle and look at how busy it is. But the busier the puzzle, the more efficient I am at puzzling. Go figure. I can't figure that out either. So let's wrap up this video with the poem that's on the back of the box. It says, this kitchen hums with lots of cooking. The scene rewards some careful looking. Hot soup, a lemur, scattered peas, a skating skunk, can you find these? And let me tell you, it's a lot of fun looking at all of the things in this puzzle. I really cannot get over how vibrant it is and how much it includes and how many animals. There's an elephant, there's a penguin, there's a squirrel, there's a, a hippopotamus, a rabbit, a giraffe hedgehogs, ducks, a little pig, a lion offering the pig some food. Um, then you see the children and the adults and all the different cooking. I mean, the vibrancy of this puzzle and the fact that if I did not look on the Ibu site to check out the kitchen series, I would not have had this on my radar. But I absolutely love it and I hope that it inspires you to want to do at least this puzzle in the series, if not all of the others. I want to thank you so much for watching.